Alright guys, as you can see by the description and the thumbnail, we're going to talk about 10 blades. This time it's going to be 10 lockbacks. 10 USA lockbacks at that. Now what I'm going to do, you guys know I did the 10 uh, different USA brands of fixed blades. Well, I'm going to do 10 different brands of USA lockbacks. Um, a couple of these are in the same family. Actually, a few of them are. But heck, we're just going to go with it, guys. All right. Uh, again, got to be a lockback blade. And it's got to be US. Now, the first thing we're going to talk about is this fine specimen of a 112 with a drop point. S30V steel. Boss heat treated, of course. I don't know if you can see that or not. I don't know, man. The, the, the focus, the lighting, it's always an issue, ain't it? But guys, this is just a beautiful blade. Me and Kevin at Boston Blade Reviews, we decided to buy these because we were going to carry them, right? We got these things home. And I said, man, ain't no way I'm carrying this. It's too nice. Um, just a great blade. But that's a story behind us getting these. Um, we, we were like, yeah, we're going to buy them. We're going to carry them. We didn't, we didn't carry them a day. This thing has sat in my collection ever since I got it because it's just, I mean, it's nice. I'm not going to lie. This is just a nice blade that I don't want to get all jammed up because I got plenty others. Um, so we'll start with that banger right off the gate. Then we'll move to a case blade. I don't think I've ever done a video on this. This is that burnt indigo, I believe this, this blue copper lock with a worn cliff blade. I'm not sure what year it is. I don't know. I can not barely see that, but, uh, Got the arrowhead shield here. This beautiful blue color. Um, they call it burnt indigo, but man, it is just, it is fine. This, and this blade is, I mean, it's a tight blade. We got good centering as well. Look at the centering on that. If it, if it focus, I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but in the bone, it, it sort of matches. Like it sort of kind of matches. <laughs> so, um, yeah, just a warning blade. I think, uh, if, I forget how I got this. Maybe me and Doom Crew were looking down on eBay. I don't know. I think that's how it worked. Um, next up, guys, I'm going to start with a few nice ones and go to some uh, some ones that aren't so nice, and then we'll go to one that's a banger. Uh, here we got a Remington Tracker. Um, just a, a blade from 1990. Man, this thing is, what, 34 years old? It's the R1306. Um, this was made by Camelus. In 1990, they uh, were contracted to build these for Remington from the early 80s up to, to when they closed their doors in 07. Then I think Baron Son took it over from there. But guys, this is a great blade. This is a great lockback blade. Um, kind of the same size as like, uh, I don't know. I hate to even compare this with like a GEC 23 or something, single blade. But great lockback design. Um Got the barrel tube for a lanyard, and there's no cracking in this Delrin. None at all. So this, this blade, and I got the box and paperwork for it too. Um, let's move on to a blade, uh, again, made by Camelus. Now look at this, look at this little thing. I found this in a drawer. I think uh, maybe Jesse McJames uh, gave this to me. I'm, I'm not sure. It's a Shrade USA SP2. So it is a USA lockback knife. No, I'm not cheating. It is a lockback USA blade. It's just a small, tiny one. A little fifth pocket dropper. You know, Case makes something like this. We've got a lanyard tube here. Just a, like a synthetic handled little knife. But that's a charade. And let's look at something else. Let's look at an Uncle Henry LB7. Now that is also made by Shrade, but Uncle Henry... Is its own brand, and like I said, I'm doing 10 different USA brands. So, this one I polished up, but man, it's already, it is already starting to, to teen her up on me. Because I've actually been carrying this and using it. I've actually carried this to work quite a bit the last few weeks. I think I paid like $30 for this at an antique store. Me and Knife Delights were shopping when I found this one. It didn't look like this when I got it, but man, it turned out great, didn't it? This is just a beautiful blade, guys. Again, made by Shrade, but it's Uncle Henry. It is a different brand. It's its own brand of Uncle Henry. Let's go to the old Coyote. This one right here did come from Jesse McJames. I know that for a fact because when I got it, uh, the tip was broken and repaired. Kind of dropped off at a 45 degree angle. 
Uh, since then, I've able I've been able to uh, really fix it. You know, I fixed the tip and uh, sharpened it. And when I polished it, of course, the coyote come off of there. But it's a coyote Providence USA blade. I don't know if you can see that there or not, but yeah, it's just a green uh, saw cut Delrin. Some brass bolsters, and then we got this uh, different type of washer system here for a spacer. But uh, lock back, of course. Let's put that over there. Now you guys want to see? Oh, I got this um, as a gift from Boston Blade Reviews. A Bear and Son. Those were made in Alabama. Just a great little lock back knife. USA brand. Just a great little blade. Got the box for it and everything. He sent it my way to, to have. And uh, my gosh, I've used it. I've carried it. Definitely need to clean it up. Oil her down and polish the bolsters on it. Well, I got these out. I may do that. Now let's look at a, a Camelus. I just got this one in this week. Um, this right here is the Camelus number three. I mean, I shined her up. I did a video on me cleaning this up. We do have a little damage on the upper, the pivot bolsters here. So I think I just need to, I need to sand that, but I have to start like 600 and go to probably 2000 grit to make it that spit shine to it. Wood handled. Um, I got the box for this one as well. This is actually a knife that comes with a sheath. So, and a lot of these bigger ones do too, but here's the actual sheath for that. And again, I did a video on this one itself, so maybe it'll be out, but this is just, oh, that one got loose from me. Just a great little wood-handled Turkish blade knife, and that's uh, oh, from the 70s up till 1989 Tang Stamp. So, let's see if we can get that to come in. But yeah, I just don't think it was stored correctly. It does have a little stepping in the open position. Like you see, we got some stepping, stepping right there, so on the spring. All right, guys, got to go to one that I got as a gift in the 90s from my father, the old timer, uh, the, the Golden Bear 6OT. Again, this is made by Straight as well, but it is an old timer, so it's its own brand as well. As you guys know, you got Straight by itself, you got uh, Uncle Henry, and then we got Old Timer. That's all made by Straight, but they're their own company, so they got to compete against one another. I don't know how, exactly how that worked or how it works now. Um, but just a great blade. I used this uh, when I went deer hunting back in West Virginia. Um, this thing is screaming sharp. Screaming sharp. Just a great blade as well. Very strong. Now guys, we saved the best for last. We got a banger here. Ooh, what's this? A GEC Cody Scout? Oh man. I bought this off of a guy. Um, gave me a pretty good deal on it. He knows who he is. Um, I just don't want people <laughs> harassing him. Uh, but just a, just a great dude. Um, again, I bought, I wanted one of these to use, but he said, hey man, I really wanted a micarta one, but he's like, yeah, it has a little blade play, a little lock rock, and he said he didn't feel comfortable selling me that one. But he said, I got a Northfield high polish one. I'll give it to you. Um, at a good price and he did and uh, I pulled the trigger um, just a great American lockback blade look at the centering on that bad puppy Ooh man strike three down the middle we got ring to bolsters we got the turd shield <laughs> I guess that's what they call it Northfield unexcelled so again it's a 72 721123 GEC CAR for carbon so it is a carbon steel blade, so I have to re-oil that before I put it back in its uh, tube. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 different USA brands in a lockback formation that we have here. Um, so guys, this is open tag. And you guys don't have to do 10 different USA brands to show me 10 USA lockbacks that you got in your collection. Um, again, everyone's been doing these 10s, so I want to see if this one can gain any traction. Uh, we're only nine minutes in, so I've kept it under ten minutes. Be sure to watch <laughs> Happy Hour Live Chat every Sunday, 5.30 Eastern, 4.30 Central. Um, we've got a great lineup for the month of January. don't know if this is being released, but 
first weekend in January, we got Doom Crew, then we got Jesse McJames, then we got RJ, then we got Baxter's Blades. And then uh, I think February the 11th, I think we got HT's underscore EDC coming on. So guys, uh, the chats are always built a week in advance. Get in there, hit that notification bell, like, subscribe, give me a comment. Hop on this open tag, show me what you got as far as USA lockbacks. Again, don't have to be different brands, um, just show me 10 of them. All right, guys. Hey, while you're out there, keep it magic fresh. Mm -hmm.